Good evening, and welcome to our virtual 2020 Seniors Honors Night. I am Ms. Briggs Johnson, principal of the Fayette County High School. Tonight, we will recognize and honor all of our senior Tigers and all of their hard work throughout these last four years. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the program. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Powell and I serve as the assistant principal at Fayette County High School. It is a pleasure to come before you this evening. Before I begin distributing the awards this evening, please accept my apology in advance for any mispronunciation or spelling errors that occur this evening. Though we work diligently to ensure correctness with the vast number of students that are going to be recognized, some errors may be inevitable. If names are mispronounced, I am truly sorry. If names are misspelled on any certificate, those can be corrected by sending the certificate back to Fayette County High School. We will be happy to print a corrected one. Thank you in advance for your understanding. The faculty and staff at Fayette County High School are very proud of the accomplishments of our students, whether in the classroom, on the field, on the performing arts stage, or in life. And we are excited to recognize those accomplishments tonight. Departmental awards are chosen by the teachers of the various disciplines at Fayette County High School to recognize the outstanding achievement in the classroom. I will call the award winner's name first and I will say a few words submitted by the, their nominating teacher as to why they were chosen for this award. Faculty representatives from each department were available to provide this information for our students. We would usually take pictures of this event but we will not be able to due to COVID-19. So of course, parents, if you can snap a picture of your student and tag us at FCHS Tigers, FCHS Tigers, or you can email me. Our first award for this evening will be from the science department. Science honorees. So our first award is for AP Biology, and the winner is Kaylin Bellwood. She was nominated by Ms. Bergstrom. Kaylin's curiosity leads her to search, read, ask questions, even argue about the topics of AP Biology. She prepares so that she is absolutely on top of every assignment in each and every lab. And coasting to near perfection, by the time she gets to each test, she has been an all-star all year in AP Biology. The next award is Forensics. The winner is Trinity Wilson. Trinity is very involved in our forensics class. She has great suggestions for further study, and she is diligent about her work. Our next award is AP Physics. The winner is Kaylin Bellwood. Kaitlyn is a true superstar and is perhaps the strongest AP Physics student that has come into the classroom. She excels at everything that she attempts. Our next award is the Earth Systems Award. The winner is Elise Joseph, and she was nominated by Mr. Burns. When completing what makes an ideal Earth System student, focus and determination are both at the top of the list, and it is those two factors that Elise displays. At any point within the period, from beginning to end, Elise strives for complete understanding of the topic presented at hand and is more than willing to assist those around her. Thank you, Elise, for taking part of, Earth system, of the Earth Systems class, and the best luck to you in your future endeavors. That is from Dr. Byrne. The next award is Anatomy and Physiology, and the winner is Elisa, Elisa Campavong. She was nominated by Ms. McKay. Elisa is self -motivated, a self-motivated student who has demonstrated a fascination and mastery of the study of the human body. She has maintained a hundred average in the course and exceeds expectations in everything that she does. Congratulations. Our next award is our science all-star, Vu Han, nominated by Mr. Kirkendall. The four-year science award is our department's most prestigious award. To receive this award, a student must truly depict a passion for science that goes above and beyond the traditional classroom. The young man that will be honoring, honoring, that we'll be honoring tonight is a true pleasure to teach. From his caring and warm personality to his academic talents, he brings a quiet confidence to the classroom. He is a true leader that has gained the respect of all of his peers and his teachers. Academically, has, he has participated in our most advanced science courses, and he has taken courses in biology, chemistry, physics, AP chemistry, AP physics, AP environmental science, and AP biology. 
In each course, he earned high honors. In addition to excelling in a classroom, he has depicted exemplary independent research over the past four years with his science fair projects. As he leaves this year, he will be attending Georgia Tech toward his goal of becoming an aeronautical engineer. Fu Han, the science department is extremely proud of you. Congratulations. Our next um, group of awards are from the math department. Our math honorees are as follows. The first award is st statistical reasoning. Elise Joseph was nominated by Ms. Koss. This student is a dedicated, hardworking math student in statistical reasoning. She fully understands the concepts taught and has demonstrated mathematical talent. She encourages those around her to do the same and helps them with their assignments and their understanding of the concepts. This year's Statistical Reasoning Award goes to Elise Joseph. Congratulations. Our next award is the Pre-Calculus Award. The winner is Natalie Negron. She was nominated by Ms. Mosteller, now known as Ms. Laurie. While maintaining class averages near the top this year, Natalie's perseverance in pre-calculus is what sets her apart from her other classmates. Whenever she struggles with a concept, Natalie seeks out help in class and works through her tutorial schedule. She's able to work through any concepts that is presented to her even if they're challenging. I expect great things from Natalie and her very, in a very bright future. Keep working, Natalie, and you can achieve anything you wish. The next award is the College and Career Readiness Mathematics Award. The winner is Michaela Gilbert. She was nominated by Ms. Weinhardt. Michaela exemplifies a top-notch mathematics student. She is not con she is not content to receive the best. She is not content in receiving the best grade in the class. She expects the best of herself. Michaela approaches mathematics with the goal of completing mastery of content. There is no one more deserving of the math award for college and career readiness than Michaela Gilbert. The next award is the AP Calculus AB award, and that goes to Dakari Morgan. This student was nominated by Mr. Bellwood. Dakari has been consistently consistent all year long. If she is not asking questions, she is the one answering the questions. Dakari has been an amazing student, achieving a high level continuously and being engaged in daily, on a daily basis. Congratulations, Dakari. The next award is AP Calculus BC. Leah Cummings is the winner of this award. She was nominated by Mr. Bellwood. Leah is the recipient of this award for her dedication and perseverance throughout the school year. Leah's engagement has always been on point and she is a significant contributor on a daily basis. Congratulations, Leah. Now we will have the four-year All-Star Math Award. Kaylin Bellwood was nominated by the FCHS Math Department. Kaylin is an exceptional mathematics student and has maintained a nearly perfect average in all five of her math classes throughout high school. She displays resourcefulness and ingenuity through her ability to problem solve and reason. She is a capable student and she is capable of finding alternative methods to problems posed in class and is successful in solving difficult free response questions. Kaylin is a person of high character and integrity. She is honest and makes wise choices. She is also dependable and never fails to have an assignment, to not have an assignment ready. She is willing to ask questions when needed and treats her success as her own responsibility. As an active member of the band, soccer team, pals, and beta club, Kayla has proven to be a team player. She always finishes her assignments early and, is near, and they are always nearly perfect. She helps others and is quick to volunteer if a task needs to be completed. 
Fayette County High School is a school with a very diverse population. Kayla has had numerous experiences interacting with students and teachers who are different than she is. She is well respected by both her peers and her teachers, and she makes friends very quickly. She puts people at ease with her calming nature. She is a born leader. Because of her high academic record, her ability to problem solve, her strong character, and her leadership skills, we enthusiastically present Kaylin Bellwood with the four-year All-Star Math Award. Congratulations, Kaylin. Now we will have the English honorees. The first award is the British Literature Award, and the winner is Christelle Vivor. This student was nominated by Ms. McCaskill. Christelle con consistently works to high standard and gives her best. She is proactive and insightful in class discussions and works as well, as well through all of her written assignments. She stepped up and represented FCHS in a literary meet, placing her in her in her event with her strongest writing skills. She is the sort of student we mean here at Tiger Trail when we say excellence in all we do. The next award is for dramatic writing. The winner of this award is Audrey Williams. She was nominated by Miss Oliveras. Audrey's passion for writing has been clear to me from the first day of class. Her work is phenomenal. To expand her learning, she often writes outside of class and has ambitions to publish in the future. If you have ever had the pleasure of reading something she has written, you know it is only a matter of time. She has a true gift and talent. The next award is for AP Literature. The winner of this award is Emily Moore. She was nominated by Miss Rabin. Emily Moore is a student who, is, who has a passion for learning, and she shows com great compassion for others, which is a winning combination. She has strong writing and analytical skills and exemplifies excellence in the classroom. She brings a sense of artistry to everything that she does and is very deserving of recognition for this award. The next award is for AP Research. Karis Gaiman, nominated by Ms. League. Karis pursues a unique topic in class within the realm of market research and blazes a new trail in the creation of her blog as the creative component of her performance assessment. She has gone above and beyond on her project and, has, and her dedication to the process and passion for for the product are clear, clearly evident in her presentation and oral defense. Her ambition and entrepreneurial spirit have set her apart from her peers and her endeavors. Our next award is the Speech and Debate Award. This student was nominated by Ms. Bradley, and the winner of this award is Logan Shanks. Logan has been active in speech and debate here at FCHS since her freshman year. She has received several honors over the years. However, one of the most prized awards was the Melissa Maxey Award for Social Justice presented to her at the annual Barclay Forum at Emory University in 2019. I honor her for her dedication to the betterment of society and education through, art, the, through the art of oral expression. Our next group of awards are from the Social Studies Department. Our first Social Studies honoree is from Economics, and the winner of this award is Jatin Patel. This student was nominated by Coach Y. Jatin was an outstanding student in Economics. Not only did he learn the material, he was also able to add new ideas and perspectives to the class. Jatin was always prompt and accurate with his work, and his curiosity helped us to explore new ideas. Our next award is for AP Macroeconomics. The winner of this award is Kaylin Bellwood. This student was nominated by Coach Y. Kaylin has truly been an asset in AP Macroeconomics. Her insight and mathematical reasoning has helped not only me, but other students in the class. She is always prompt and accurate in her work. Kaylin had the highest average in the class with a 100% average.
She is outstanding. Our next award is the Government Award. This student um, that um, was recognized was nominated by Mr. Foley. The winner of this award is Janae Anderson. Anderson. The American Government Award this year goes to none other than Janae Anderson. Janae performed at the highest academic level throughout the entire semester and finished the course with an average of slightly over 100%. Janae consistently provides deep analysis to topics discussed in class and demonstrated her mastery of, of the subject matter on every assignment and test. Congratulations, Janae. The next award is the AP Government Award, and this award goes to Kaylin Bellwood. This student was nominated by Mr. Foley. Truly dedicated to gaining a deeper knowledge of U.S. government and doing so while maintaining a perfect class average, Kaylin Bellwood exemplifies the standard of, phenomenal AP, of a phenomenal AP government student. Kaylin is always willing to put in the extra work necessary to master concepts introduced in class. Her great attitude and strong work ethic have been a source of motivation throughout the year. Congrats, Kaylin. The next award is the Psychology Award. The winner of this award is Aaliyah Ramasroop. This student was nominated by Miss Elliott. Aaliyah is a very humble young woman. Despite being extremely intelligent and accomplished, Aaliyah is often quietly observing the discussion. She has worked very hard in psychology and her work reflects true critical thinking. She rarely gives herself credit for, for her achievements, so I felt it was necessary to give her this award. She is kind, tolerant, and she brings a lot to the field of psychology. Our next award is the Sociology Award, and the winner of this award is Emily Martinez. This student was nominated by Ms. Elliott. Emily has shown a true interest in the study of sociology. She genuinely considers the different theories of her own of how society interacts with each other and the effects of that. She frequently pursues topics on her own and shares resources that she has discovered with the class. She is a hardworking student who thinks critically about how to strengthen the success of society. The next award is the AP Psychology Award. And the winner of this award is Christelle Vivor. This student was nominated by Ms. Elliott. There are many strong students in AP Psychology. I have chosen Christelle for her work ethic and commitment to excellence. She has pushed herself to reach her true potential. I have seen tremendous improvement in her working in this course. She has shown herself to be highly motivated to achieve her goals. She has spent much time outside of class working to strengthen her ability to critically analyze approaches, but also express this analysis in the written form. I'm very impressed by her accomplishments and know she will tackle future challenges the same, with the same vigor. Congratulations. The final award for social studies is the big award. This award is the Social Studies Four Year Award. The winner of this award is Logan Shanks. She was nominated by the entire social studies department. To be the four year social studies award winner, you have to really set yourself apart since luckily at Fayette County High School, we have such amazing students. The winner of this four-year social studies award is a dedicated learner, both in the classroom and out of the classroom. She engages in class discussions and always brings a thoughtful narrative. This young lady is going to change the world and we can't wait to watch the impact she will have. This year's Social Studies Award winner is Ms. Logan Shanks. We are so proud of you. CTE honorees, the first award is the Gerald T.C. Let 2 Award, and the winner is Gifty, Gifty Antwi. This student was nominated by First Sergeant Parks. Antwi is the only Let 2 to serve in a position that's usually allocated to Let 4s. She consistently performs her duties with exceptional competence and professionalism. The next award is the Gerald T.C. Let 4 Award. Jimena Hernandez, nominated by First Sergeant Bell. 
chosen as the top senior because she is well accepted by her peers with unlimited potential. She possesses a zest for learning. Our next award is the Engineering Award. And the winner of this award is Jan Matthew Moreno, nominated by Mr. Coldiron. Chosen as the top senior of the engineering program, Matthew has displayed a great work ethic, understanding, and love for the field of engineering. He is a great ambassador for this program. The next award is the Broadcasting Award. Timothy Johnson, nominated by Mr. Trask. Timothy stands out as the top senior in broadcasting because of his character, work ethic, and creativity. Timothy always produces videos that are entertaining and he turns them in on time. Timothy is a model student for the broadcasting program and for FCHS. The next award is the Animation and Digital Media Pathway Award. The winner of this award is Emmanuel Arusa, nominated by Ms. Forrester. Emmanuel is a conscientious student who has shown persistence and tenacity in the animation pathway. He has grown exponentially as an animator, student, and person during, the year, during his time at Fayette County High School. The next award is the Entrepreneurship Pathway Award. The winner of this award is Giselle Riviera. This student was nominated by Mr. Hoyle. Giselle is an outstanding student she is able to balance her academic and extracurricular activities. Giselle works well with her classmates and is always willing to help others. She exemplifies our mission statement, excellence in all we do. The next award is the Culinary Arts Pathway Award. And this, um, the winner of this award is Ramaya Caldwell, nominated by Ms. Moore. Ramaya is an intelligent young lady who has a bright future ahead of her. She advocates for herself and is willing to help others excel. She participated in the leadership contest and earned the bronze award. She is a great student and a pleasure to teach. The next award is our Computer Science Pathway Award. The winner of this award is Uriel Benitez Ramos, nominated by Mr. Kramlik. Uriel is a dedicated student who takes his assignments seriously. He is willing to help others as needed. He is always trying his hardest in this class. Our next award for career tech education is the Allied Health Pathway Award. The winner of this award is Olivia Harris, nominated by Ms. McKenna. I have enjoyed having and getting to know Olivia as a student in Allied Health and Medicine. Olivia is an excellent student who has always has her work completed on time and with excellence. Not only does she do a great job at her classwork, she is a joy to have as a student. She is respectful and kind to both her teachers and classmates. She also has such a great personality and always makes me smile and knows just the right thing to say if she sees that I'm having a rough day. I'm going to miss having her as a student, but I'm looking forward to hearing all about her successes that I know she will have in the future. Our next award is the Financial Services Pathway Award. This student was nominated by Ms. Allen, Maria Adutola. Maria has, a, has been a model student for two years in a financial services pathway. She is a good communicator, understanding, patient, and kind. Maria excels academically and demonstrates great employability skills. She is the type of student that will always do what is asked of her without question and complaints. Maria also is kind and respectful of those in authority and her peers. With these qualities, I'm confident that Maria will have a bright future. The next award are our Fine Arts Honorees. The first award is for Advanced Orchestra. Trevor Foss, nominated by Miss Patty Davis. It has been an absolute pleasure to teach Trevor for four years in orchestra. He has been a vital member of our ensemble, always helping others and looking for extra opportunities and challenges to better himself as a musician. The cello section will truly miss Trevor's talent next year. 
Best of luck to you all in all that you do. The next award is our Intermediate Women's Chorus Award. Victoria Henson, nominated by Miss, Mr. D. Davis. Victoria is an amazing student leader. Her ability to be creative and innovative is a wonderful asset. The next award goes to the Advance, is for Advanced Women's Chorus. That student was nominated also by Mr. Davis, and the winner is Mia Moore. Mia is an excellent leader. Her leadership has helped improve the overall student work ethic of the Fayette Corral and helped shape the brand of the program. The next award is Drawing and Painting. The winner is Kayla Montgomery. She was nominated by Mr. Angelo. Kayla is very, a very smart artist. She starts with empathy, working and studying to understand the design problem before attempting ideas and creative solutions. If her approach to visual arts is the same as her approach to everything else, then we may rest assured easily knowing that Kayla is on the job. I wish you only the very best with all you do and hope to accomplish. The next award is visual arts. The winner of this award is Lauren Fines. She was nominated by Mr. Angelo. Lauren is an absolute pleasure to have in the classroom and has to be the most authentic and sincere student I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. Can she draw and paint? Of course she can, but that's not why she is getting this recognition. It's Lauren's enormous heart, kindness, and character that has captured my attention. I wish you only the best. The next award is Studio Art. The recipient of this award is Elizabeth Marmo. She was nominated by Mr. Angelo. The, the key to great ideas is not just to have them, but to execute them. This is the reason you'll see Marmo's name in the credits of many future Disney productions yet to be imagined. After four years in art, and with her ability to transform the culture of any classroom, Marmo will be noticeably absent from room 1311 next year. Emoji crying sad face exclamation point from Mr. Angelo. Congratulations. The next award is our Drama 2, and that um, award recipient is Gabriel Galloway, nominated by Miss Cubido. Gabby has been an amazing student, leader, and crew member. She is very curious and determined to learn all that she can, especially in technical theater. Thank you, Gabby, for being a strong asset to the drama program. I wish you the best in everything that you do. The next award is for Advanced Drama 2 Production Theater. The winner of this award is Flora Alfonso. This student was nominated by Ms. Cubido, it has been a pleasure having Flora in class and by my side behind the scenes of each show. She has been a wonderful asset to the drama program due to her strong leadership qualities, dedication, and bright personality. personality. Flora has truly, she truly has a love for the arts and it shows. Best of luck to you in all that you do, Flora. The next award is to recognize our technical theater student. In Technical Theater 1, Taylor Redman, nominated by Miss Cubido. Taylor was an incredible stage manager and has tuned into some very original, has turned in some very original pieces this year. Taylor pours her heart into her work and is not afraid to stand up for what she believes in. Thank you, Taylor, for being an essential part of the drama program. I am proud of you. Taylor and I can't wait to see where life takes you. The next award is Technical Theater 2 Marketing. And the winner of this award is Audrey Williams. This student was nominated by Miss Cubido. Audrey is a true leader, talented writer, and spokesperson. She pours her heart into everything that she does and is beyond dedicated to the arts. Audrey tru truly is influential and will continue to do great things with her art. I am so proud of Audrey, and I wish you the best of luck in college. The next award is our Introduction to Music Theory Award, and this student was nominated by Ms. Patty Davis. The winner of this award is Sydney Powell. It has been an absolute pleasure to teach Sydney in the Introduction to Music Theory class this year. She is a wonderful student who always wants to challenge herself to take her learning to the next level.
She is an amazing musician and I am incredibly proud of her. Our next award was nominated by Mr. Davis. The award is for piano and keyboarding and the winner is Sydney Powell. Sydney is a prolific pianist. Her love for learning and spirit of excellence are amazing. Now we have the Intermediate and Advanced Men's Chorus Award, again nominated by Mr. Davis, and the winner of this award is Jatin Patel. Jatin is an excellent student leader. He has excelled in sight reading and vocal performance. His leadership has helped to propel the chorale program and to achieve superior ratings in LPGE. Congratulations, Jatin. Our next award is from the World Languages um, Department. The first award is for Spanish 4, and the winner is Emily Moore, nominated by Ms. Fritz. I have known Emily for a few years, and from the beginning, she has always shown an internal passion for learning and reading. With Emily, it is more about putting the book away, not the cell phone. Don't let the calm, quiet demeanor fool you. She's a tiger tried and true. Her focus is constant and her intellectual drive is outstanding. I am proud to have been part of her experience here at Fayette County High School. Our final award comes from the Physical Education Department. Physical Education honoree comes from Team Sports, nominated by Coach Bogomil. The winner is Ahmad Ormond. Mr. Ormond has a love for PE. He consistently attends, dresses out, and plays whatever lesson plans, whatever the lesson plans has listed. I want to congr congratulate all of the honor honorees of tonight. Next, we will have some awards from Ms. Yolanda Briggs Johnson, our principal, and awards from Mr. Stikes. Founded in 1983, the President's Education Awards honoring graduate high school students for their achievements and hard work. The program has provided individual recognition from the President and the U.S. Secretary of Education to those students whose outstanding efforts have enabled them to meet challenging standards of excellence. The criteria for this award is 90% or above grade point average, SAT top 25% of their class, or ACT top of their class. Those students are Ulysses Adams, Miriam Akinto, Flora Alfonso, Janae Anderson, Gifty Antwi, Kaylin Bellwood, Urel Benitez Ramos, Logan Black, Carrie Blackshear, Christopher Blunt, Brooke Brady, Asia Davis, Naoma Ike, Naomi Asang, Courtney Evans, Anaya Fuqui, Lauren Fine, Ayana Flores, Trevor Faust, Nevea Francis, Gabriella Galloway, Carolina Gatewood, Karis Giman, Andy Ha, Almir Harris, Olivia Harris, Jamal Hartfield, Janelle Hernandez, Eczema Hernandez, Vu Han, Lindsay Jones, Elise Joseph, Alyssa Campavong, Tiana Lee, Elizabeth Marmo, Alexandria Meyer, Owen McCoy, Danielle Miller, Cameron Mincy, Kayla Montgomery, Emily Moore, Ike Mora, Matthew Moreno, Dakari Morgan, Manuela Nana, Natalie Negron, Thien Nguyen, Emily Nobles, Blessing Nua, Susanna Nua, Ogoso Amabude, Umbulala Otas Otasanya, Jatin Patel, Tiffany Pham, Aliyah Rams Group, Kenyon Rollins, Giselle Riviera, Zachary Shoemaker, Logan Shanks, Sophie Schinkel, Michael Shivers, 
Sade Strong, Devin Turley, Tierra Ville, Jonathan Vasquez Gonzalez, Christelle Vivor, Janaya Watson, Audrey Williams, Trinity Wilson, and Tyler Wilson. The Try Honor Tiger is an award that recognizes student athletes for their commitment to success in multiple GHSA sanctioned athletic activities. It is meant to honor student athletes who appreciate the challenge and dedication required to fully participate in three separate sports during a school year. To earn the Try Honor Tiger Award, a student must have earned a varsity letter in three separate GHSA recognized events during the school year. Our Try Honor Tiger Award winners will each receive a patch to go on their letter jacket and a certificate to celebrate their accomplishment. This year, I'm proud to announce that four of our seniors have achieved this honor. First is B.J. Gaither. B.J. lettered in cross country, track, and literary. Kevin Holmes. Kevin lettered in cross country, wrestling, and boys lacrosse. Matthew Moreno. Matthew lettered in cross country, swimming, and track. Elizabeth Marmo. Elizabeth lettered in softball, literary, and girls lacrosse. Congratulations to Elizabeth, Matthew, Kevin, and BJ for their recognition as Tri Honor Tigers. Go Tigers! I will now present the Perfect Attendance Award. Our Senior Perfect Attendance Award is given to students who have had perfect attendance throughout their career as a student. To qualify, students must have been enrolled in Fayette County High School, excuse me, Fayette County Schools from kindergarten through 12th grade. Additionally, they must have had perfect attendance each year. This year, we have one senior who qualifies. She had perfect attendance at Spring Hill Elementary School from 2007 to 2013. She had perfect attendance at Bennett's Mill School from 2013 to 2016 and has now had perfect attendance at the Fayette County High School of each of the past four years. Our 2020 recipient of the perfect attendance recognition is Gifty Antwi. The Georgia Governor's Honors Program is a residential summer program for gifted and talented high school students who are rising juniors and seniors. The program offers instruction that is significantly different from the typical high school classroom. And it's designed to provide students with the academic, cultural, and social enrichment necessary to become the next generation of global critical thinkers, innovators, and leaders. Students are nominated to the GHP program by teachers, and they go through a rigorous application and interview process at both the local, county, and state levels. The class of 2020 had three seniors who participated in the Governor's Honors Program while at Fayette County High School. To recognize this prestigious honor, each will receive a certificate and an honor cord of black, blue, and white to display on his or her graduation regalia. Our 2020 Governor's Honors Program participants for FCHS were Mr. Matthew Morano. Matthew attended the GHP program during the summer of 2019 in the area of engineering with a concentration in mechanical design. And Ms. Logan Shanks, Logan attended the GHP program during the summer of 2019 in the area of social studies. Congratulations to these students. I will now present the Star Student and Star Teacher Award. Star Student, this year's recipient is Mr. Jan Matthew Moreno. This year's Star Teacher is Mrs. Chastity Manning. This is the portion of the evening when we are privileged to honor the students we know as high honor students. The high honor student is a student who has no grade lower than a 93. Let me repeat this. This means that the lowest grade this student has is a 93 in each and every class. An upperclassman that is an high honor student has gone an entire year without earning a grade lower than a 93. 
year being defined as the spring semester of the previous year and the fall semester of this current year. The following students are seniors who are receiving their honor for first year high honors. These seniors will receive an academic letter, an academic pin, and a certificate noting that each is a first year high honors student. Our first year high honors seniors are Carrie Blackshear and Aaliyah Ramsarup. The following are seniors who are receiving their honor for second year high honors. These students will receive a certificate and a bar noting that they are second year high honors students. They are Carolina Gatewood and Karis Gaiman. The following students are seniors who are receiving their honor for third year high honors. These students will receive a certificate and a bar noting that they are third year high honors students. They are Elizabeth Marmo and Tiffany Pham. Our next honorees are our fourth year high honors students. Remember, the high honors student is a student who has no grade lower than a 93. To be a fourth year high honors student means the student has literally gone their entire high school career with no final grade lower than a 93. Every time I say this, I'm amazed that this can even be accomplished at a place like Fayette County High School. However, the fact of the matter is it's not only been accomplished by not just one student here, but by a grand total of seven members of the class of 2020. These students will each receive a plaque for being a fourth year high honor student, as well as a service bar that they may attach to their academic letter that they earned so many, many years ago. Our fourth year high honors recognitions go to Jonay Anderson, Kaylin Bellwood, Janelle Hernandez, Vu Nguyen, Matthew Moreno, Jatin Patel, and Sophie Schinkel. Please join me in applauding this incredible accomplishment. Congratulations, guys, and go Tigers. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution Cup is an award that's recognized for students' extra efforts put forth to achieve excellence in academics, leadership, school, and community activities. When the cup is received, it will say best all around student. All local winners will have their names and pictures in the newspaper. This year's recipient is Kaylin Bellwood. The Mowell Cup is one of the oldest recognized at graduation and honors night here at Fayette County. It is bestowed upon the most outstanding senior in each class as voted on by the faculty and staff. The Mowell Cup recognizes achievement both in the classroom and in the community. This year's recipient exemplifies all of, why, all of the characteristics of why this award was established. This year's recipient is Mr. Jan Matthew Moreno. This year's valedictorian is Ms. Kaylin Bellwood, and our salutatorian is Ms. Janae Anderson. Hello, my name is Jen Travis, and I am the lead counselor at Fayette County High School. I am honored to present the outside scholarship winners from the class of 2020. As of today, the total earnings for scholarships for the class of 2020 is $2,704,850. We are extremely proud of this class. I will now recognize students who were selected by local community organizations as this year's winners. From the Posse Scholarship Foundation, the Posse Foundation identifies, recruits, and trains students with extraordinary leadership potential. Posse scholars are nominated by their schools to undergo an extremely competitive selection process. If selected, Posse scholars receive a full tuition scholarship from, from one of Posse's partner colleges and universities. We are extremely proud to announce that Fayette County High School had two recipients this year. Congratulations to Ms. Logan Shanks and Mr. Jonathan Velasquez Gonzalez. Both students will be attending Brandeis University this fall. Logan and Jonathan were selected from an extremely competitive pool of over 1,400 students 
nominated by more than 200 high schools and community-based organizations. Jeff Abbott, the Atlanta Posse Advisory Board Chair stated, we believe in the hope of the next generation. These brilliant young leaders will guide us to the change we need as a nation and in the world. Congratulations, Logan and Jonathan. Your Tiger family is extremely proud of you and we wish you well as you begin your new adventure. The Coweta Fayette EMC Melissa Seegers Memorial Scholarship. Coweta Fayette Trust is a charitable program made possible by our members. Funding for Operation Roundup comes from members of Coweta Fayette EMC who voluntarily round up their electric bill to the next dollar. For only pennies per month, worthwhile projects like these scholarships and many more are funded to help people and organizations in our community. We like to call it Neighbors Helping Neighbors. This year, our members' contributions to Operation Roundup allowed us to award 15 Melissa Seeger scholarships in the amount of $3,000 each and nine technical scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each, totaling $54,000. In the past 25 years, we have awarded 603 scholarships, totaling over $1 million. The Melissa Seegers Memorial Scholarship is intended to reward students for their commitment and dedication to community service. Students must write an essay and are ranked based on their individual involvement in community service activities. We are very proud of Logan Shanks and thankful for her volunteer efforts in a wide range of charitable and nonprofit organizations throughout the community. Because of her efforts, the Coweta Fayette Trust is honored to present Logan Shanks with a scholarship in the amount of $3,000. Again, we congratulate you on your achievement and wish you every success in your college career. The American Legion School Awards. Fayette County Post 105 is honored to again be presenting our American Legion School Awards to two graduating seniors from the class of 2020. The awards are intended to recognize the six qualities of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service in a graduating young lady and young man that are selected by the faculty. This year's recipients are Jimena Hernandez and Jonathan Rose. The Ronnie Godwin Memorial Scholarship, presented on behalf of the Peachtree City Running Club. On behalf of the Peachtree City Running Club, I would like to present the Ronnie Godwin and Kim Rupel Memorial Scholarships for four deserving graduates of Fayette County High School. These scholarships are given to one boy and one girl in both track and cross country who have demonstrated leadership and excellence in their respective sport. It is important to note that these scholarships are chosen by their coaches and not the Peachtree City Running Club these scholarships are given in honor of Ronnie Godwin, one of the charter members of the Peachtree City Running Club in 1981, and Kim Rupel, a long-term member and former club president. Mr. Godwin was an active member of the running and triathlon community here in Fayette County. He participated in the Hawaii Ironman competition in 1983, but passed away three years later from lymphoma. His spirit lives on with these scholarships given to our male cross country and track athletes, which have been presented every year since 1987 by the Peachtree City Running Club in his honor. Our scholarship program for female athletes is named after a past club president, Kim Rupel, who was an amazing runner with over 60 marathons and ultras in her career and an inspiration to the club and local community. Kim died of ovarian cancer in November 2018 after a hard-fought three-year battle. This year's winners representing the Fayette County High School cross-country team are Kevin Holmes and Asia Hollins. The recipients of the scholarship representing the Fayette County High School track team 
are Cameron Johnson and Gifty Antwi. The Fayette County Farm Bureau Scholarship. Since 1941, the Fayette County Farm Bureau has promoted farming and informed politicians about issues important to the agricultural community. It also educates students and consumers about the source of their food, fiber, and fuel. This year, we voted to assist seniors from Fayette County in furthering their education. We, are, we at the Farm Bureau are proud to award scholarships to Logan Shanks and Christelle Vivor from Fayette County High School. We congratulate these young ladies and wish them well in their college studies. The Stephen Lottie Jesse Smith Scholarship. I will read on behalf of Mr. David Lottie. In 2005, and again in 2017, two journeys ended. God's grace, guidance, and faithfulness came full circle in 2018 when our family presented this scholarship for the first time to Rachel Gomes, a Fayette County High School graduate. Her message is the embodiment of all that these two men lived. She continues to be the measuring stick for those that follow but now it is time again for that torch to pass, letting a life lived to be the message to proclaim. Jesse Smith was my father-in-law, my surrogate dad, my mentor, most of all, my friend. The significance of this award cannot be appreciated unless you know Jesse and Steve. The criteria elected by our family was chosen by these men's lives. Our children, whom Jesse loved, graduated from schools in Fayette County. Jesse, son of a tenant farmer, was valedictorian at Hapeville High School. Ironically, it was only a year before his death that we learned he had been offered a full scholarship to the University of Georgia, but never attended. He did not have money for bus fare. He excelled in both basketball and baseball, even signing a professional baseball contract. Ultimately, he chose to stay home, eventually retiring as head comptroller for Rich's department stores. He was very active in his church, where he organized the Baptist Builders. I jokingly referred to him as Jesse Smith and his 12 apostles. Jesse organized and led over 40 mission trips to rebuild homes and churches after various disasters. He loved people. He left them better for having known him. Steve, also known as Esteban by his South American friends, was inducted into Fayette County High School Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame in 2018. Steve was fearless, funny, most important, genuine. His college degree was anthropology, but his life was archaeology. Our Indiana Jones, with his journals and letters, kept us entertained as no movie could. Through academic and sports recognitions, were many, they were minuscule in comparison to his outreach wherever his feet took him. Big Brother, Habitat for Humanity, Hosea, Feed the Hungry, were a few recipients of his time and energy. Volunteer work found him in Africa one summer, helping to rebuild a school. The experience touched him. He joined the Peace Corps, hoping to return. As God would have it, the Peace Corps sent him to Bolivia. And as only Steve could exclaim, Llama tastes like chicken, I'm going to Bolivia. In a drought-stricken dot in the jungles of San Antonio de la Mario, where previous efforts failed, he built and taught the construction of rainwater harvesting systems. Upon his departure, 19 such systems had been completed. More important to him, they were sustainable. He had taught a man to fish. A daunting task for a company of men was begun by a single achiever. Esteban was one with the people he loved and served. His next great adventure was one none of us expected. 
a plane crash in the jungles of Peru. Strange how loss turns into hope. The Peace Corps sent representatives to the tiny Bolivian village Steve loved so much. Moments of a memorial held by his, held by his South American family were captured on DVD and presented to me. Tears, voices lamenting in a strange language, and a moment God humbled me. It was not just my loss. This award was 10 years in the making. We honor Steve by honoring his and Jesse's message. Love people, leave them better for having known you. The torch now passes, hopefully, to continue spreading the message. Selfless service. This year's recipient was selected from a candidate pool from all of the high schools in Fayette County. We are proud to announce that the winner of a $2,000 scholarship in honor of Jesse and Steve goes to Miss Manuela Nana. The Dr. John Dakota's Educational Scholarship was established to award a scholarship to a well-rounded, accomplished, aspiring educator. This winner is selected out of a pool of nominations from the five Fay County High Schools. The selection committee reviews the academic record and community involvement of the high school senior candidates. This year, I am honored to announce Logan Sp a senior from Fay County High School, as the winner and recipient of this scholarship. Congratulations, Logan. We are proud of you, and we wish you the best as you pursue your dream. Good evening. I'm Alan Livesey from the Peachtree City Youth Basketball Association. For over 20 years, PTCYBA has provided recreational and travel basketball programs to our area boys and girls. In each of the past five years, we've had over a thousand players each season. This year, our board of directors decided to offer $500 scholarships to a senior boy and a senior girl from each of the county's five high schools. I'm very pleased to announce the winners from Fayette County High School, Elijah Carswell and Nome Eke. On behalf of our board of directors, congratulations and good luck to each of you as you start your college career. I would like to give a special thank you to Ms. Pryor and Ms. O'Hara for helping to organize all of the awards, invitations, and the programs for this evening's broadcast. I also would like to thank the counseling department and the administrative team, and of course, Mr. Trask for recording us and making sure that this went out to everyone. We are very proud of every accomplishment that you all have accomplished during your time here, and I just want to tell you good luck for all of your future endeavors. Good night and good luck. <laughs>